Hey guys, hope you're having a great spring break. I went to the library today with my kids and I found how the continents move. Many centuries ago, a scientist named Abraham Ortels noticed that the coastlines of the different continents could fit together just like a puzzle. But it wasn't until the early 1900s that we began to understand why that was the case. In 1912, another scientist, Alfred Wegener, investigated how it could be possible that the same kind of rocks and fossils could be found on different continents, even with an entire ocean between them. Alfred believed that all the continents may have been connected long ago and then had slowly been separated into continents we now know. He called this idea continental drift. And although Alfred found a lot of evidence showing that his theory might have been true, he couldn't tell how or why this drift took place. Moreover, the whole idea was so new that almost no scientists believe in Alfred's theory. In 1943, Marie Thorpe was working at Columbia University as Bruce Heidson assisted. Bruce had sailed around the world and explored the bottom of the ocean using sonar to search for wrecks of submarines and planes that had crashed. Using Bruce's measurements, Marie drew the first map of the ocean floor. And while drawing, Marie suddenly discovered a pattern. Near the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, she discovered something that looked like a tear in the bottom. Marie drew the entire mountain chain at the bottom of the ocean and called it the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. She had heard of Alfred Wagner and his theory of continental drift and discussed with Bruce whether the mountain chain might be proof that the continents had indeed been torn apart. Bruce, like almost all of his colleagues, didn't believe in continental drift. Marie didn't give up. She studied a map that had been created by another colleague, Howard Foster. His map indicated the key areas where earthquakes and sea quakes occurred. And Marie immediately saw that the sea quakes occurred in exactly the same place as her mid-Atlantic ridge. It became clear to her that the ocean floor was being pushed apart by earthquakes and volcanoes. With her new evidence, she was back she can't read now. <laughs> With her new evidence, she went back to Bruce, who finally believed her theory. In 1957, Marie and Bruce presented her map with the Mid-Atlantic Ridge to their colleagues, along with her ideas about how earthquakes drove apart continents. But even so, few in the community believed that the continents could move. One of the most famous explorers of the time, Jacques Cousteau, proposed that he would take a boat with an underwater camera down to the bottom of the ocean. He expected to prove that the terrors did not exist. But Cousteau's recordings actually had the opposite effect. They showed that Marie was right, that there was indeed a tear in the bottom of the ocean, and that continental drift was real. Marie Thorpe proved the idea of continental drift, a huge accomplishment for the science community but it would be years before 
Karp and Heisen's findings were fully accepted in the geological scientific community. Today, Marie Thorpe is known as an extremely important geologist and one of the best cartographers of the last century. And she has a tortoise, just like me. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick talk. Hope you're getting outside, even in this weather, having fun. I will see you Tuesday morning. Bye.